Stop becoming another person. 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 Whoa. What's up everybody, Trey here. I'm over my whole identity crisis thing I was going through. Two videos without Jared, he must be, you know, dead or something. <laughs> huh. Huh. No, but I did kill him. We're doing a special episode of Just One Cent all about the Heroes vs. Aliens CWDC TV crossover event. The crossover starts out with Supergirl, which came on last Monday night. The episode, for the most part, stuck with the continued storyline that they're doing on that show. At the very end of the show, The Flash and Cisco go through a interdimensional portal into Supergirl's apartment. They tell her that they need some help and she immediately says, what are we up against? It's really awesome to me to see that uh, Kara, Supergirl, she's just, she's a hero. She does good for the sake of doing good and I think that's a testament to her heroism. Doesn't matter what's going on, if she can help out her friends then she's gonna do it and I just think that that's really awesome. Again, not a whole lot in this show is building up for the crossover but let me assure you, she's very important throughout the entire rest of the crossover. On to The Flash. Flash starts out, Barry is going around the city kind of patrolling. They find out that there is a meteor heading straight for Central City. And Barry zooms in to go check it out and it turns out it's not a meteor. It's an alien spaceship. It's, that's no good. Alien spaceships crashing into Earth isn't good no matter what show or movie or real life it's in. When Barry gets there and finds out that it's an alien spaceship, these giant, gnarly, nasty looking aliens just start running rampant. Barry heads back to Team Flash HQ and decides that, hey, we can't take this on by ourselves, so that's when he starts going out and recruiting everybody. He goes to Star City and helps Oliver Queen, aka Arrow, and John Diggle, aka Spartan, out with not getting shot. He tells him what the plan is. When it comes to the crossovers, Oliver's always been kind of in control and Barry tells Oliver what his plans are. They go and send a message to the Legends of Tomorrow and that's when Barry and Sisko go and get Supergirl and so we see all these heroes come together at one time and I was just, oh, it's so beautiful. Well, it was the best thing in the world. I was fangirling so hard. So Lila, who is John Diggle, a.k.a. Spartan's wife, works with the government and knows what these aliens are. These aliens are known as the Dominators and they've been around since the 50s and nobody ever really knew what was going on. Barry wanted to get Supergirl because he figured if we're gonna fight aliens we might as well have an alien on our side. They train and the training is just hilarious. Everybody is throwing everything that they got at Supergirl and she's just literally in the air floating and smiling and laughing. While this training is going on, Felicity has been picking up on the fact that Cisco is really not Jihan with Barry. If you're new to the show, Barry and Cisco, they're BFFs up until this new season. Barry went back in time to save his mother from being killed. And in doing so, he created an alternate reality called Flashpoint, where everything was different. The Flash realizes that that can't continue because things are starting to be erased and people are being affected by it in ways that they don't need to. And so he goes and corrects his mistake, but when he comes back to regular reality, some things are still different. One of the things that are different is Cisco's brother was murdered during this new reality when in the regular first reality, nothing like that had happened. Cisco's brother was still alive. Cisco hates Barry right now. I just kind of want to take this time to go on a little bit of a rant and say, Cisco, get over yourself. Here's the thing, what Barry did was wrong. Yes, it's terrible that Cisco lost his brother. I can't imagine what it would be, what it would be like for me to m lose my brother. But at the same time, he's gotta realize that he's not the only one affected by Flashpoint. Barry lost his mother, and he went back and tried to save her, and he actually got to be with her for a little bit. He had to sacrifice his mother again for the sake of everybody else. He didn't do that for himself. He did it so that he could help save everybody else. Cisco, get over yourself. You're not the only person affected by it. 
Dr. Martin Stein and Jackson have a message that they've gotten from Barry in the future and they play it for Arrow and for Flash and the message is saying that this time period Barry, the one in 2016, can't be trusted. Cisco comes along and finds out what's going on. He's already upset about the fact that people are keeping secrets from one another and that Barry has already done this stuff. So he kind of forces Barry into telling everybody what happened. It affects some of the other heroes as well. When that happens, the heroes are like, Barry, we don't want anything to do with you. I can't believe that you would do this to us. Arrow decides, hey, I'm with Barry, so if you guys aren't gonna go in, then I'm not going in either. This next mission, which is going in to kind of figure out what the Dominators are doing, where they're located at, Flash and Arrow are just forced to sit this one out. Supergirl takes some of the supporting heroes and the legends and they all go in and it's a trap. They all become mind controlled and they all go back and start attacking Star Labs where everything is kind of being headquartered at. Arrow and the Flash are forced to go and fight the heroes that are being mind controlled. And it sounds like a lot, but if you watch, it's so amazing. If you don't have the CW app, you need to get it so that you can watch these episodes because it's just so fantastic to see all these heroes, to see people like Speedy and Supergirl and White Canary and Adam and everybody going up against just Flash and Arrow by themselves. They do some tech stuff. They find out that the mind control device that's being used to control everybody is nearby. Arrow kind of has to fight all the other heroes. The Flash lures Supergirl into these mines to stop this mind control device. He winds up kind of tricking her, kind of like you have to do in some bosses where you get in a certain area and they go to swing their whatever and it winds up destroying something that hurts them. The Flash has to do that with Supergirl and winds up destroying the device and everybody is unmind controlled. And just when you think everybody is safe, no, Oliver Queen, Diggle, Sarah Lance, Thea, and Ray Palmer all get abducted by aliens and that's when the episode ends.